A spotted lanternfly quarantine applies to items that are in spotted lanternfly quarantine areas or zones. It restricts the movement of items that could harbor spotted lanternfly nymphs, adults, or egg masses, both within and outside of the quarantine zone. The quarantine doesn't mean that you are prevented from moving these items. It means that you must inspect before you move items. Inspection is important because, as we've learned, spotted lanternflies are great hitchhikers. They will lay eggs on pretty much any flat surface. Adults can hop and fly, and both adults and nymphs are good at clinging to most surfaces, including the outside of moving vehicles. Therefore, the quarantine restrictions apply to a wide variety of goods, including, but not limited to, brush, debris, bark, or yard waste, landscaping, remodeling, or construction waste, logs, stumps, or any tree parts, firewood of any species, packing materials like wood crates, all plants and plant parts, outdoor household articles like RVs, lawn mowers, chairs, grills, tarps, tile, stone and deck boards, and trucks or other vehicles not stored indoors. Private citizens living within a quarantine area who want to move items outside the quarantine area should complete a checklist for residents, available from their State Department of Agriculture website. This checklist states that you have inspected the item, removed and destroyed any living life stages of spotted lanternfly, and that you are in compliance with the quarantine. You can print and fill out the checklist, sign it and take it with you when you move the items. For businesses, agencies, and municipalities that move items within or out of a quarantine zone, there is a more formal system for monitoring compliance. This system allows other municipalities, states, and countries to have confidence that shipments entering their borders are free of spotted lanternfly. If your business regularly moves items within a quarantine zone or across the boundaries of a quarantine zone, your company vehicles must have a spotted lanternfly permit. This permit indicates that a trained employee has inspected the vehicle and its contents and that they are free of spotted lanternfly. The form of the permit can vary, for example, a hang tag, sticker, or paper certificate. Drivers need to show the permit if they are stopped at a checkpoint. States with quarantine zones issue their own spotted lanternfly permits, but spotted lanternfly permits are reciprocal between states. Once you get one, other states will accept it. In order to obtain a permit, at least one employee, designated by management, must go through the Spotted Lanternfly Permit Training course to learn how to identify spotted lanternflies, how to prevent their movement, and where to go for additional information. Since you are taking the training, this employee is you. Once the designated employee, that is you, goes through the training and passes the permitting exam, you are responsible for training other employees. Your organization must keep training records to prove that all who need training have received it and that they understand their responsibilities in relation to the quarantine. You are also responsible for distributing the spotted lanternfly permits to company vehicles once you are confident that they and their cargo are being inspected correctly. Note that if a shipment is just passing through the quarantine zone with no stops other than for traffic, making it unlikely that it would pick up a pest, a permit is not required. The Departments of Agriculture of the states with quarantine zones are mindful of the responsibility this permitting system places on companies and are willing to work with them to lessen the burden. While complying with the quarantine can seem like an inconvenience, it's crucial to do so in order to stop the spread of these harmful invaders and maintain business as usual in the mid-Atlantic states and beyond.